All right, let's look at a few other things that happened yesterday. Uh, George Santos seemed to forget his own name on the floor of the House multiple times. His name was called a four vote on Speaker of the House on the fifth ballot. He seems not to recognize uh, his own name, which is just funny because, of course, his his full name is George Anthony Devolder Santos, and it raises a question of whether does he even really go by George Santos normally? Maybe he goes by Anthony Devolder or George Devolder or Anthony Santos. I don't know. But here he is. They call him multiple times. Doesn't seem to recognize they're calling him for a vote. The guy to his right seems to tell him like, hey, that's your name, sir. Santos. Santos. (laughs) Sarbanes. Okay, and they move on to Sarbanes and then he holds up his hand and yells out that he's voting for McCarthy. Jeffries. (laughs) You even. You even see Matt Gates come by just kind of like, what is it that is even going on here? Um, so just kind of weird. Everything about Santos is strange. For all we know, he's used to being called some other name. I, I don't know. And um, it seems that he is continuing to struggle to sort of uh, build community in the House of Representatives. And I don't really know the end game for Santos. I. The first 48 hours are not sustainable running away with a huge backpack, running away from reporters who want to ask him questions, sitting by himself in the floor of the house, picking his nose, uh, not recognizing his own name. And it's it's all just truly bizarre. But I also have kind of like a morbid curiosity where like how how awkward can this possibly get? And you all know I love awkward. So we're going ahead and going to go ahead and, and follow that. And by the way, the lies from George Santos haven't stopped since he arrived in Washington, D.C. Let's talk about that next. 